The Inspector General of Government started with a courtesy visit to the Deputy Director of the CIID, Joseph Obwana. Here at the police training school in Ichibuli, 30 detectives attached to various police stations have been taking lessons in fighting corruption. Uganda's legal framework to fight corruption is relatively strong, but implementation of the laws is weak, even with the many institutions put in place to control the vice. The Inspectorate of Government, which is charged with the responsibility of eliminating corruption, abuse of authority and of public office, has often been blamed for not doing enough to apprehend government officers who steal colossal sums of money. Kamiya revealed recently that Uganda loses 10 trillion shillings every year in various forms of corruption. We are going to conduct now in the new system, lifestyle audit, and it's a campaign we are launching, which the president will launch on the 9th of December, called the Unexplained Wealth Order, meaning somebody can go to court, get an order from the judge, and slap it on you to explain your wealth. According to Kamiya, the leadership court should be strengthened to widen the probe when police are investigating corruption. So that spouses and children of a public officer above the age of 12 also be required to declare their wealth. For years, the National Integrity Survey Report has ranked police as one of the most corrupt institutions. The IGG defended the force. Even if police is the most corrupt, in terms of frequency, certainly not in terms of the volumes of money that we get out of this 10 trillion, maybe not even a, a trillion can be attribut attributable to police. So we need another more uh, selective survey. Also the matter of following up someone found guilty of corruption is not being done. According to the Anti-Corruption Act, Civil servants found guilt of corruption are disqualified from holding public office for a period of 10 years. I have uh, a contract of four years. That is one of the things that I intend to give my attention to following up on, on sanctions. One of the biggest impediments in investigations has always been intimidation and influence from the big bosses, especially in police, where some of them tend to shape the direction of the investigations where they call some of the junior officers and try to intimidate them to favor the persons that are close to them. And this problem also cuts across. That is the Inspectorate of Government and Police. And this matter was brought to the attention of the Inspector of Government by one of the trainees. Sometimes there is a lot of intimidation in different fora, which makes the investigators not explore their skills to bring those who are corrupt. Only time will tell if the officers charged with fighting corruption will walk the talk. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.